Next I'd like to demonstrate a corollary of this, which is very important in rigid body rotation, which is the parallel axis theorem. First I'll explain the kinds of systems that the parallel axis theorem applies to. Any object shown by this green irregular shape rotating about some axis that does not pass through its center of mass. But the axis is parallel to an axis that passes through the center of mass for which we do know the moment of inertia of the object. So I sub CM just refers to the moment of inertia of the object if it spins about an axis that goes through the center of mass. In the general case though, the object will be at some distance d from the axis. And we'll also characterize the rotation by a rotational speed omega. Its translational speed, the speed of the object moving through space, is just omega times d, the angular velocity times the radius. It turns out that we can very simply express what the moment of inertia of the object is in this rotation. We start off with what we proved before, that the kinetic energy of an object is equal to the kinetic energy of its bulk plus the kinetic energy of its internal motions. In this case, the internal motions are going to be its rotation. So we have 1 half mv squared for the bulk, m being the total mass of the object, v being its center of mass speed, and we add to it the kinetic energy term for just rotation. Next, I'll put everything in terms of omega instead of v, so recall that v was omega times d, so that's what I've done here is I've replaced v by omega times d. Now I have two terms that have a factor of omega squared. Now we'll, we'll factor out the omega squared and we'll factor out the factor of one half. So we have one half, the quantity md squared plus the center of mass moment of inertia times omega squared. We'll notice this is in the form of one half i omega squared, our regular rotational kinetic energy formula with the moment of inertia just being md squared plus i center of mass. We've just proven the parallel axis theorem. A rigorous statement of the parallel axis theorem is this. The moment of inertia of an object of mass m, whose center of mass is a distance d from the rotation axis, is md squared plus i center of mass, where i center of mass is the moment of inertia about the parallel axis passing through the object's center of mass.